Welcome back guys. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Sikio Shooting Stars Alpha Limited Edition collection for the Nintendo Switch. This was something I was really looking forward to. Releases January 21st, 2020 in North America. Retails for $59.99. I know this game previously released in Asian regions and a lot of people are picking it up from places like Play Asia. But when I saw there was going to be a release in North America in the U.S., I was like, I'm, I'm going to wait for this. This package looked really neat with all the extras it comes with. So I was like, you know what? That's it. Holding off. So today we're going to unbox this thing, take a look at some of the gameplay, see the features, just give you guys my overall thoughts on this thing. So here we go. Slipping up, dropping the box all over the place. So this package does come with a handful of games. Uh, Strikers 1945, 1945-2, 1945-3, and Soul Divide, Dragon's Blaze, or Dragon Blaze and Zero Gunner 2, and a handful of little bonus items as well. So this is a pixel perfect experience according to them. Uh, beautifully rendered high definition graphics. We'll have to see. I haven't played this previously. I haven't even watched any videos. I just really love these arcade shooters. So one of the items it comes with is a three disc soundtrack. That is, that's pretty crazy for uh, the price of this coming with uh, all these little extras. I mean, I would have paid the 60 bucks just for the game, to be honest with you. Uh, I, don't, I don't even think I have a CD player, but hey, maybe I could just pop this stuff into my PC and rip the uh, music from there. But I know a lot of people do appreciate this kind of stuff. I'm normally not really big into limited edition stuff, but that was the only way this was being sold. And I would say for the price, I, I don't care. I'm, I'm fine with that. Maybe I'll get some use out of these extras, but these games definitely have a lot of cool music in them. If you're familiar with these, I'm sure you can attest to that. So it is cool that it came with the soundtrack. Uh, you know, the physical media, it, it's really cool to have. I wish they would have put like a download code in there as well, but that's fine. I could just always rip the stuff, but there's that. Really interesting stuff. We'll take a look at the gameplay in a moment. Just wanted to show you guys everything this comes with. You also get these art prints, and I think they're supposed to be a schematic guide or something as well. Looks like it's probably in the package with the game. We'll find out in a second. But here we go, these little art prints. Not sure what I would do with these. I'll look at them once, put them right back in the box, but they are really cool. I mean, I'm not going to frame them or anything. Maybe some people would. I, I don't know. But that's one of the reasons I don't, I don't like paying extra for limited edition bundles because what am I going to do with half of this stuff? You know what I mean? But it's still really cool to have, especially when it's just like, hey, this is just the way it's being sold. We're not, you know, selling a standard edition and you know, some collector's edition. This is just the limited version that you get right now, and it comes with all these extras. So that, that's really cool. I think, uh, what is it, NIS America, NIS America? They always do a lot of cool stuff like that with uh, bundles of games. So, hey, can't can't complain. I think this stuff is pretty neat. Just probably won't get much use out of it. Uh, but here is the the game. It does feel a little heavy. Uh, the Shining Stars of shoot 'em ups that's for sure. But... I think that that little booklet's got to be in here because it does feel a little hefty here. Um, but there it is. I, I love the art, the way this uh, package looks. There we go, a little warranty. A little, uh, I like they put artwork on the inside cover, man, instead of just going with a, a blank slate. But there is that. Really nice. I, I'm digging this package. There is another edition coming out, uh, the Bravo edition, which comes out next month, February 18th. I'll put links in the description for both of these. They are available on Amazon. That's where I got it, and I have the other one pre-ordered on Amazon as well. The Bravo edition comes with uh, Samurai Aces, uh, Tengai, Sengoku, uh, Cannon, Gunbird, Gunbird 2, and uh, Gun Barrack, Barish. I'm not sure how to say that. A uh, bunch of cool games as well. So we'll be checking that one out come February. I believe it comes out February 18th. Uh, maybe I'll get it a little early like this one. Uh, just got to me today, so I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, this little schematic book's kind of neat. I do dig stuff like this, getting a little inside look, little artwork things. Really cool. So this is what you could expect if you buy this package. So, I mean, hey, really neat little items there that you're just kind of getting as a bonus. Not for resale, fool. Don't, don't, don't resale this thing. But let's go ahead and uh, get this cartridge out, pop it in. Test out some of the gameplay, see how this uh, all works. So let's do it. Okay, guys. So before we jump into the game, just one interesting thing to point out here. So if you have the Asian released version of this, each of the included games will be an icon on your front end here where you select your games. 
Some people like that. Some people don't. I prefer the way this North American version is where it's just the icon for the collection. Because then you just select it, jump in, and select your game. So I, I think I prefer the way they did it with this one. I don't want the icons all over the place when you pop in the cartridge. Um, but, you know, to each their own, really. But here we go. Let's go ahead and check a couple of these games out real quick. Jump in the Strikers 1945-3. Um, I'll, I'll check out a couple games here. I'm thinking about doing a stream later this week, testing these games out further. But immediately when this loaded up with that logo, I could tell there's some smoothing going on. I don't like that. So pressing the plus button, we do have an option menu for each of these games. So in display settings, you can go ahead and change it up however you want to orientate your switch, however you want to play it. I think that's really cool. Screen filters, this is where my problem lies. I don't like that smoothing. So you do have type one is the smoothing, type two is uh, you know the scan lines, and then none, you get them sharp, crispy ass pixels. That is what I like. So each game does have a wallpaper, simple or special, special will be you know, for that game. Uh, so there we go. Sound settings, you just have some volume settings. Uh, for some of the games, there will be different uh, sections of sound, like voice and all that kind of stuff that you can mess with. Game settings, pretty much your typical dip switch settings. Nice to have all that. Controller settings, you can configure you know, this to your heart's content if you don't like the way it's defaulted to. A manual, you wanna to refer to all this. Nice that they, uh, they, you know, they, they went all out, kind of including a little bit of everything uh, for you to enjoy the game. So that is really nice. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'll just leave it on normal. A random ship. There we go. And you get like uh, all the information on the side there. I actually kind of like that. Your bomb count, your score. Okay, right now I'm using the D-pad to maneuver uh, and everything is feeling fine. I'm not really noticing any issues with latency or anything. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna use the analog now. Yeah, this, uh, I have to use the analog to play this. Sure. That feels really good. Yeah, as far as uh, control issues, I'm not really noticing any. I could for sure enjoy this game with the way it's set up on this collection on the Switch. So that's that's really nice. Everything's crisp, responds well. Oh, that's nice. I didn't notice the lower left corner, a little reminder of what the buttons do in case you have any question, right? Sound is coming out nice and clear. Not, you know, I don't really review these games. I just kind of give like little first impressions. You guys know how it is. Um, I don't think it's fair to review a game if you don't like give it the time to play through it. So. Um, I just wanted to give you guys my first impressions of this collection. And so far, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm definitely impressed. So let's, uh, let's defeat this sum of a bitch and then uh, switch to another game real quick. Oh, bombed his ass. So there's that. Let's, uh, okay, if you hit the uh, minus button, it's the same thing. I wonder if there's, no, uh, hitting any of the triggers, you're not getting anything so that's okay we don't have any of those uh fast forward uh rewind save states it doesn't look like so so that's okay how do we exit out of here oh main menu there we go quick game in return yes I was going to be like, man, do I have to like exit out and get back in to select a game? But no, it's the options on there. It's just all the way at the bottom. Let's see. Zero Gunner. Let's check that out real quick. Zero Gunner 2. Screen filter off, on. Take the, the command she there. Oh, very, very beautiful game. Has uh, rumble integrated. 
I just felt it rumble when I'm hitting these boats. Very nice. Oh, shit. I don't think I've ever played this game. I've played all the other games on this collection, um, but I don't think I've played this one. This is uh, pretty cool. Same thing. Everything's responding well. Can't, can't really complain. I just, I had to get used to that, like shifting around. Pressing the, uh, the A button to shift your direction around. Okay, I think I get used to that. You hold it down, you can uh, change, just hold it down, then move the angle with the analog stick. Or just click it, hit it once, and it kind of shifts at a an angle there. That's okay. I kind of, I kind of got to, I got to get some practice on that game. Let's check something else out real quick. Soul Divide. We have that, that smoothing again. Screen mode. Okay. So depending on the game, you may have some different modes. See in this one, you have voice sound effects and background music. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, I've, I've played this before. That's a fun one. A little different. Everybody's just floating around, you know what I'm saying? Take that flame to your face. All right, let's go. Interesting graphic style with this game. Not necessarily my favorite shooter or shoot 'em up out there. I don't say shmup, because I'm not a schmuck. I say shoot em up or shooter. <laughs> but um, yeah, this has an interesting graphic style. Not my favorite by any means, but still an interesting game nonetheless. Love collections like this. Really do. So there is that, guys. Just wanted to give you a little first impression, see what you get with this, uh, this limited edition package. Link will be in the description if you are interested. Really cool stuff. I'm happy that I bought this 60 bucks. I know it was a little cheaper um, for the Asian releases, but hey, it is what it is. Importing, you know, you pay the shipping and all that kind of crazy stuff. And next thing you know, you're, you're, you're paying almost double sometimes, especially with Play Asia to get like decent shipping, which I use Play Asia all the time. I love Play Asia, but um, you know, if you want to get that, that faster shipping, that, you know, it's, it's going to cost you. It's one of those things where you want to order like a bunch of games at once to kind of save on it. So I'm glad I waited on this, though. Um, I do prefer the way this is set up over the Asian release. So, hey, really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye bye. We'll be doing some more content on this later. And boom. Bye.